Hi there, I'm Nicole Wilbur. I'm a writer and story nerd and welcome back to my channel. I am doing a little bit of a ratchet bookshelf tour today. Um, I just moved into this house. I guess it was like a week and a half ago, but we just got beds a week ago. So like it's been crazy. Um, so that's why this is gonna be a short, fast, fun video. Um, but I wanted to show you kind of how all my bookshelves are organized. You can see all the books I own except for the ones that are either at a cousin's house in Michigan when I moved from Baltimore and also lost because there's a box of books that I cannot find. Craziness. Very stressful. And I'm also going to Italy in five days. So like, ah, for two months. Like, <laughs> anyways, craziness. Um, craziness. So, at the very end, I'm going to show you a couple of craft books and ask you what you think I should do a review on next. So stay tuned for that and let's get started. So we start up here with the craft books, which then go into my theater books, including plays and biographies from actors and even some novels based on actual musicals. And these are um, little plays, baby books. Then we have the first nonfiction section. Um, really excited to read this, The Mosquito. It was recommended to me. It's like the history told through the mosquito. I'm so excited. This is a really great book about Canada 1945 by Ken Cuthbertson. Love it. Um, so here are my some of my nonfiction. And then I have biographies, specifically Unexpected Professor. I picked this up in a random book shop in England just randomly it's one of my favorite books just like the tone of it that sort of World War II just um generation kind of people who were kids during World War II so good um down here we have my classics so uh, the Narnia series the Anne of Green Gables series uh, Little Princess Hobbit Mary Poppins, and then we get into To Kill a Mockingbird, some of the Brontes, Oliver Twist, and there's a Betsy Jane Eyre. I think I have more Jane Austen. I'm just not sure where they are right now. Then comes the Little House on the Prairie shelf. This is all Little House on the Prairie, including these two, which are um, annotated versions of these books. It's a little crazy, I know. Then we have The Borrowers. I don't, has anyone read that series? It is so cute. And then on the bottom, I have my adult fantasy novels. Over here, I have um, Lighthearted YA. I love the Love and series. So good. Also, this author, Susan Juby, amazing. She's Canadian. She's so good. Lighthearted YA here. Down here, we have my indigenous books. And this one is um, Canadian. So they're kind of Canadian books. I think Firekeeper's Daughter is Canadian. I'm not sure, but I know it's indigenous. And then this is supposed to be where Harry Potter is, but I'm missing a bunch of books. I'm missing a box. So there's no, there's only these ones. There's, I don't know where the rest of them are. And this is my journal shelf. So back there are all my journals. And here is a to be read that is not complete. I actually have more to be read than this, but you know. On this shelf, this is my Meg Cabot shelf. So fun. Down here, we have more YA. Well, I guess Mother Daughter Book Club is technically middle grade, but I love these books. They're like my best comfort books. Um, we have the Ali Carter books. I love these so much. And then we have Sarah Dessen and um, this Paul, is it Paul Reed of this? This drama series by Paul Reed Davis, so fun. I highly recommend if you're looking for like a lighthearted, cute read. It's amazing. I love this book so much. Whoops, there goes my M. Going down here, we have YA, more like fantasy, sci-fi type stuff. I know the selection is dystopian, maybe dystopian. Then this is fantasy, once a witch, always a witch. Um, Divergent, and then the Hunger Games books. I have the Hunger Games, it's just in that missing box. And then down here we have my desk supplies and also my cabinet books that wouldn't fit on the shelf. And these cool books about Alexander Hamilton and Eliza that um, are missing, they wouldn't fit anywhere else. <laughs> This crazy storage room has my kiddos books, or not my kiddos, but kid books. Those are more classic ones like Roald Dahl and Evie White. Here's Junie B. Jones. I love Junie B. Jones so much. I still 
I bought the books when I was in like high school. They're so good. This is the Babysitter's Club. I have a lot of them. Then we have middle grade books and then we have picture books down here. On this side in this shelf, we have yearbooks and kind of miscellaneous. And then this is some YA. Honestly, by this point um, in the shelving process, everything got a little messed. So it's a fun schmish mash. <laughs> There's, um, I love these TTYL books too by Lauren Miracle. The rest of them are also missing from my missing box. We have Nancy Drew and the Boxcar Children down here. And then that's more Anne M. Martin. So she wrote the Babysitter's Club, but she also wrote the Doll series, which I adore, and the Main Street series, which is another of my favorite comfort series. Then we go into this room, and this is where it gets really fun. So. Um, down here is my Christmas shelf. I'm missing some Christmas books, but I usually am able to fill up this whole shelf with my Christmas books. Up here are my lighthearted adult reads. So we have, oh, this isn't really lighthearted, is it? Um, but we have like The Vacationers, The House in the Cerulean Sea, Devil Wears Prada. Uh, you've been volunteered at the Gifted School. Like, oh, Amy Popel's amazing. I highly recommend her. Limelight and Small Admissions, they're just kind of fun. I'm missing, um, I also just recently read Where the Grass is Green and the Girls Are Pretty, or I think it's called Where the Grass is Green, I don't know, um, by Lauren Weisberger. I am also missing that, but that was a really good lighthearted book if you're looking for a good summer read. Up here is historical fiction arranged from most, like, oldest to um, newest in terms of time era. So we start with Geraldine Brooks. She also wrote a very good book called March, which is about the, um, the father of the March sisters from Little Woman. This is called The Secret Court. I actually haven't finished this. This is kind of like a DNF, um, need to go back to it. And we have Cleopatra's Moon, so that's ancient Egypt. We go through here, through the Middle Ages. Um, all the Philippa Gregory's in the 1600s. Then we have The Turncoat, which is the one book I found set in 1837 Canada. Um, this is A Sitting in St. James. I most recently read this. It is a brutal but good book. Um, we get through the 1920s and then our World War II fiction. And then um, The Beauty of Humanity. I believe this is like the 1970s. And then Any Known Blood is an interesting one. It's one of those ones that spans multiple decades. Um, this is by, who is it? This is by Lawrence Hill, who also wrote the book of Negroes. So it's a Canadian author. Technically, it should be on my Canadian shelf. So I'm going to move that over. And then up here, we have um, adult fiction that's more fancy. I don't know. It has a bunch of the like Pulitzer Prize winners, the Night Circus, which I just think is so literary and beautiful. Maybe literary is right. <laughs> Bear it down. I don't know if that's literary, literary, but it feels like it to me. And then over here, um, we have my mom's books. <laughs> she has more than this, but I just put hers on this shelf. And then we have more nonfiction. Um, specifically, I have my Sound of Music se section, which I love. And there we go. So these are the four books that I'm considering reviewing next that I already have. There are some on my radar to buy. So What Are You Laughing At is about writing humor. Um, so that is an option. And then we have The Writer's Journey by Christopher Vogel, which is a very famous book and a lot of other craft books base their structure on this. It's good. It's dense. Um, but let me know what you think about that. Characters and Viewpoint is all about characters and viewpoint, obviously, by Orson Scott Card. I've read this one before. Um, let me just very, very zoom in. That's the, what the word is. And then we have a Write Great Fiction book, Dialogue. Now, I loved the character version of this, and I'm going to try to get my hands on that. The dialogue one, I had kind of mixed feelings on, even though I started rereading this the other day, and I was like, oh, this is actually better than I remember. Um, so, let me know in the comments which one you would like to hear about first. Thank you so much for watching. This was a tour of my bookshelves. If there's any book that you saw that you were interested in or you want to hear more about or anything like that, or if you want to tell me how your bookshelves are organized or give a suggestion on what craft book I should review, please do that in the comments. Give it a like. I really appreciate it. And I will see you next time.